Up to 75% of people living in Imatong state may have left their homes because they cannot get enough to eat. The head of the UN peacekeeping mission in South Sudan, David Shira, has been told by community leaders in Torit. Mr. Shira was visiting Torit on Thursday, March 23rd, his first mission to the capital of the state. A combination of insecurity, armed robbery, on state roads, a deteriorating economy and a lack of fuel has meant that subsistence farmers cannot grow the crops they need to survive and other farmers cannot get their food to the market. The region has been long considered the food basket of South Sudan. While in Torit, David Shiro welcomed steps being taken by the government of Imatong to reconcile communities. He met with government officials and applauded them for efforts to promote peace and reiterated the UN's commitment to supporting peace building. When peacekeepers are, and, and the UN mission and the UN agencies are here to, to try and support and as best they can the, the peace and security and the, and the livelihoods of uh, Imatong State and, and the surrounding area. Um, I was very encouraged to hear that there is going to be uh, uh, some dialogue between different parties. Um, I offered any assistance and support that the UN can provide, that we are here ready to help. The acting top authority in Imatong, Clement Chimchim Laku, said state authorities are working with religious leaders and civil society groups to engage armed groups in dialogue. Uh, we are engaging ourselves together uh, for dialogue and reconciliation and so that to have uh, permanent peace uh, in the country. Torit has been at peace over the years but has since July 2016 been considered a flashpoint by the United Nations after heavy fighting between the government, SPLA and opposition started. While visiting Torit, David Shearer launched the construction of a wall for a safe house providing protection for victims of gender-based violence in the area. The boundary wall surrounds a home that was built by the United Nations Mission at the request of the Imatong Ministry of Gender to provide a safe place for women and girls who have suffered rape, abduction, forced marriages and other forms of abuse. It is manned by a team of experts providing psychological support and counselling to survivors. Um, I cannot think of a, a better use of unmissed money than to support the victims of gender-based violence. I, serious, and it seems to me that when you get the number of women you have in Parliament of the, the Imatong Legislative Assembly, along with some activists in the community um, and some activists with an unmiss, this is what happens uh, behind me. The mayor of the Torit Municipal Council, Julian Momoi, says the initiative is quite beneficial in supporting victims of gender-based violence. This safe house will not only provide protection safety to victims of GBV, but it will transform the community of Imotong State from bad cultural practices or habit. Anmis in Torit is playing a key role in bringing about change not just through the building of the safe house, but also awareness raising about gender issues.